Good morning, good afternoon, good evening around the world. I, I got to get this one in. We about to start Romans 10. But before I start Romans 10, I got to roll on in here. I was short stopped over there in Jeremiah. And um, I was wondering why I weep all the time and how come I get uh, so emotional and how come I get so uh, much gratitude from from uh, reading the word of God. And so what ended up happening was uh, uh, um, the Lord uh, uh, showed me how we are the potter uh, in, in still being potteried in the clay room and how uh, Jeremiah tore up the first uh, situation and crushed it. And so it brought me to the fact that uh, a dust we will what return. And so I just want to tell the Lord that I'm getting understanding about when the kingdom business seems to be so dreadful and so deadful uh, for Christians to come in. And so before I get started, it was about the parallel and the parable of the potter's clay. And so as I went on into it, uh, Jeremiah, I was able to discern uh, uh, what I'm thinking about, how I'm feeling about it before I roll into Romans uh, 10. And so I want to say welcome to the official worldwide ride where I just explain a little tenancy bit of what is going on with the world today and not being uh, 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 acting like I don't know that there's no what there's no truth in the land. And so I want to give it up now uh, for my sponsors, FNB Communications, Pastor Somas James W. Dow, the voice of the WGII, and then Felicia Benton Apothelia. Uh, they've been rolling with me a long time. Uh, D. Mac McKelly, the McKelly clan out of Canton, Ohio. Then we want to give it up for Cindy Armour out of Texas. And before I forget, we're going to give it up for my teacher, uh, Gloria Lightburn, Fragrance of Love, Amazon.com. And then we want to give it up for BLK25 out of New York. And then we want to go and give it up for Perez Blackman out of Los Angeles and also Elaine Gibbs out of Los Angeles. So Jeremiah 18, 1 through 23, the entire chapter, it was asking what must I do, what not I do uh, that I'm feeling like this. And so I, I, uh, it, it said it asked me three times in greatness in his name as I asked him three times for generosity on delivering this word through the Holy Spirit. Uh, uh, I went from Friday in the weekend uh, going into the weekend to to Monday for me to get my answer because we don't study on the weekends. We just persecute and, 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 and get it done on the weekend. So what was happening is uh, 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 to bring me into this is to understand how I'm feeling as a person when I read Jeremiah. Uh, Jeremiah was one that wept and weeping all the time. And so while he was weeping and weeping, uh, they was trying to kill him because they didn't really want him to get out what he was putting a mandate on. But when I seen that little part about uh, on the pottery's wheel where he just crushed it, I mean, I got to start over to make another uh, human being. I got to start over to make a uh, one that's what captivating my life. And so it brings me over into the completion of Romans 10. So as I work the wheel, I mean, I'm working myself. I'm not working your wheel. You're not working my wheel because a uh, dust we came uh, dust we we what we going to return so in in brethrens brethren sisterins I, I got to the then I ran on back over uh, uh to verse nineteen where I said uh go down to the potter's house I'm saying to myself Martha go back down there to the potter's house so he can what start you over or make you right 
uh, in another area of your what expertise in through and what throughout the Holy Ghost. So then I got on down after I, it, I was stopped in midstream because I was feeling some type of way about uh, 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 what is going on on uh, in in the world society. What is going on with our thought process? What is going on with uh, uh, us not understanding? Uh, that we are in the Katomic area. And so while we're being in the Katomic area, uh, I, I got to complete Romans. I mean, Romans 10. And so that verse number uh, 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 19, I want you to read it to go into Romans 10. And then brethren's heart desire uh, prayers of Israel, I might be saved. So we wanted to just re-emphasize on that, that's what Romans 10 is talking about. I just want to be saved. That means I want to get into the place of grace with God, and then I want to take charge over my mandate. I want to realize all the time that I'm a what? I'm still on the pottery's wheel, meaning and he could crush me at any time and he can force me to start over if I don't what keep the laws with the commandments. Does that make sense? And so I was going on down. I said, oh, this is too deep. Uh, verse 13 on Romans 10 says, for whoever shall call upon the name of the Lord, they shall be saved. And I'm going to stop it right there because I want you to read Romans 10 to its entirety and then focus on that verse number 15. And as I bring us in here uh, to these rooms of uh, Jeremiah, I found out why I weep so much because I was like, why well, I got to be crying? But that is not crying because I'm so uh, oh, uh, so uh, sad for all of the world. That not so that I'm so sad for myself uh, coming into the zeal of Christ. And then as we learn through Romans 9, 8, 7, and 6, we learn that we were sons of Christ. And that meant it's not our gender uh, that is that we are with Christ. And so I found out something else. When you with Christ, uh, you have a problem when you see a, 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 a mischief. And Jeremiah had a problem because they put him in the pit to kill him. And he had a problem because he was he was he was emotional. He had a problem because he wanted everyone to get on the same accord of Jesus Christ. He had a problem because uh, he was a man with a heart after God's heart. And so that's what I'm saying. I got a mind and a zeal and a will to be after the what the heart of God. And so the mischief in the Canaanites, oh my God, they just won't sit down those no time soon. Meaning even though you say, get up under my feet, you know, I always say, but they might trip me up. And so when the trip up comes because of the coming of Christ, uh, 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 everybody's saying this is our last days and uh, uh, we don't know what to do. We in the new world and all that. We ain't in no new world. We in the world uh, that God has already what? He has already finished it. And so I stopped by to tell somebody that, that as we go as a weeper, as we go as mourning, as we go as a tranquil uh, in our minds that God still lives, we're going to obey the laws of the land and we're going to be what? More Christ-like. And so I'm pleading the blood of Jesus Christ over all my entities. I, I know nobody don't want to really hear that word, but guess what? I want to say thou shall be saved if you what? Seek after God. And so as I seek after God, I, I remind myself about the condemnations of the world. I remind myself that I got a right uh, to the tree of life. I also remind myself that the work of the Lord is finished. And so as it finishes, 
uh, as we don't dip back into it, we go into the new, we go into the Old Testament to stay the plow. It's just to give you strength to know that they was going through the same thing uh, when, when Jesus buried Moses and they still looking for him. Uh, it goes through the same thing uh, when we was in Israel looking for manna. It goes to the same thing. Uh, manna means we was looking for water and, and steaks and chicken and all that. And it was already there. He had already uh, provided a vehicular of escape. So I've been talking to a lot of friends. Oh, well, you don't you don't know what the Jesus real name. I know his last name and it is what is not Christ because he is Christ. I know that. I know that he's the Holy Ghost. I know that he is what Jesus all three wrapped in one. And so scientifically, uh, the enemy would trick you every time. Amen. And so while he's tricking us out of the world, out of our soul salvation, uh, whom shall we fear? Whom what shall we be afraid? And so I'm not no afraid. Amen. Uh, I'm seeking after what uh, the weeping part. I don't like it so much. Amen. Meaning I don't want to be worrying uh, 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 or, or getting too involved. Uh, of what door you have not went in yet. And so if you don't got no testimony, uh, you got you got to have some tests, 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 so you can understand what the word of God means. And so as we get an understanding around the world to see God first for everything, uh, make him the Messiah of all things, uh, remembering that your enemies are trying to kill you. They're not trying to let you live. They're not trying to let you have another chance. They come by and check on me all the What's she doing now? How is she standing uh, with, with my what? With my wicked self, with my wicked uh, 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 tranquil that I put on her with my wicked thought process uh, for her not to make it. Well, I'm going to tell you why I'm making it. I got the Holy Ghost for one, and then for two, I'm a son of Christ. And for three, I don't want to shame him uh, out of his word. I don't want to act like I don't know uh, what God is saying. I want to I wanna be smart. In the Lord, I want to be the uh, mantle on the clay on the pottery wheel uh, to let God know I'm going to do his will. And so as I go into it, that's the start of Romans 9 uh, to get us to what as we go forth. He says you can ask and you can be saved. I'm your girl, your host, Miss Martha, the Martha Shows. I decree a substance of things hoped for, evidence of things unseen. I love the Lord. Uh, he keeps on hearing my cry. Happy Wednesday, everybody, as I I'm going to wrap it up. I'm going to wrap number I'm going to finish 10. That's the start of 10 right now. We're going to finish it, but we're going to smooth over there to ask God and tell him that he is the potterer maker of us and that we want to be made right. And that means if you got to crush us uh, to get us on the spool again to do what, what? Thus said the Lord. I love you guys with the love of the Lord, praying for the sick, the shut in, the less fortunate, the troubled in their minds, and also the bereaved families. Because if trouble has not been to your door, keep on living, players. It's on the way. Thank you for joining the WGII Radio Ride, Las Vegas, Los Angeles, Detroit, Chicago, Ohio, Canada, Florida, Iraq, Kuwait, Iran. I love the Lord. Amen.